How's it, everyone? Um, at the request of some of you, I started a series on how we lost the acacia name as the name for a genus in Africa. In the previous video, we saw that Australian botanists proposed overriding the traditional rule that the genus acacia be linked to its type. If that had happened, uh, the former acacias that we now know as Vachelia would have retained the name acacia and Vachelia wouldn't exist. But this is not what happened. In support of Australian botanists, the Spermatophyta Committee of the International Botanical Congress made recommendations to conserve the name acacia by retypifying it. In other words, giving it a new type species and cancelling acacia nilotica as the type. This was presented to the nomenclature section of the 17th International Botanical Congress in Vienna, Austria in 2005, which voted to accept it. There was little or no consultation with African botanists at the time, but this decision was ratified at the plenary session of the Congress on July the 23rd of that year. One would expect a lengthy debate over which group should retain the name Acacia, and there was to some extent, but not really involving botanical groups that would also be affected by the changes. Some believe that the proposal had been carefully orchestrated to avoid this. Eventually, to save the established name for the Australian species, the International Botanical Congress decided in 2011 that the genus name Acacia would refer exclusively to Australian species and it was thus retypified. The deck was stacked. Of course, there was some botanical politics involved, uh, as there was no significant consultation with African, South American, and Asian botanists. As my former colleague, Professor Eugene Mull wrote, the, the silhouette of an acacia in the sunset with a leopard in the branches or a giraffe browsing is an image that has lured countless tourists to the African savannas. Acacias and Africa are synonymous. Our thorny savannas are historical and contemporary icons. We surely cannot allow the Australians to steal the name that is as much a part of Africa as the cheetah and the big five. Unfortunately, the changes followed a governance procedure, manipulated though it might well have been, uh, it's unlikely to ever be reversed after all of this time. So the outcome is now cast and we've got to live with it. More on this in the next video. See you then. Have a great day, everybody.